so for like the first time since I started that trading 212 pie full of euro stocks it seems like being so heavily invested in Europe for once has paid off it's given my portfolio some protection some proofing if you like against recent dips uh, in both the US and the UK. So thanks to finding out about this through the finance and investing community on the various social media platforms, I went and did a little look around, a little bargain hunting if you like, and boy, I was not disappointed. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about five companies trading on the London Stock Exchange, which I believe have got a bright financial future, which are mostly trading pretty low right now. And in terms of dividends, beautiful. So let's get into the video. Welcome back to Millennials with Money. My name is Johnny. And just before I get into the five companies, I just want to remind you that this video is not financial advice, nor am I a financial advisor. So if you do decide to invest in one of the companies that I'm about to show you, make sure you do your own research first. I've also added a couple of these companies into my trading 212 Euro stocks pie already. May add a couple more. As I go through the video, see if you can figure out which ones they might be. So without further ado, let's have a look at the first company. So the first company that caught my attention is SSE PLC, which is an energy company, mainly renewables and low carbon energy company, which operates in the UK and Ireland. And at the time of doing this video, it was quoted at around 13 pounds and 40 pence per share. Now, why might you be interested in investing in SSE? Well, amongst its various energy activities, it's an energy distributor and it's one of the big six players in the UK market. According to the regulator Ofgem, it held a market share of around 15% of the total UK market throughout 2020, and that is the second largest market share behind British Gas. So it's clearly a big player in this sector. As I mentioned before, they're very invested in renewable energy and the transformation that comes along with that. They have several wind farm projects, which several of them are going to be some of the largest in the UK. And one of them is supposed to be one of the largest in the world. Looking at the company from an investment perspective, its PE ratio is currently about 12 at the time of this video. So it's nice and cheap at the moment. And from a dividend perspective, not only has the company committed to dividend targets until year 2023, its current dividend yield is also around about 6.41%. That is nice, nice. <laughs> so the next company that caught my eye was National Grid. Now National Grid, another energy company. It is an electricity and natural gas producer, both in the UK and the US. And in the UK, it is the company that runs the electricity transmission grid. If you're on trading two on two, you've no doubt heard of National Grid, most likely through the free shares that they were giving out. At one point, they were giving them out like there's no tomorrow. And at the time of doing this video, actually National Grid is trading at about £8.35 per share. Whereas SSE have highlighted their various wind farm projects, National Grid on their website highlight their hydroelectric projects. So they have access to these hydroelectric generators that are in the North Sea, and that allows them to generate hydroelectric uh, power, which is of course renewable, for the UK. And for their electricity transmission operations that I mentioned just before, they operate as a monopoly within the UK market, so there is no competition whilst they do that. Unlike SSE, it also has a PE ratio of around about 12 and a dividend yield of about 6% as well. So both these energy companies offering nice uh, dividend returns right now and are trading at pretty low PE ratios. Next, we have Experian. Now, Experian is a credit ratings agency. They generate money by selling credit information uh, to financial institutions and lenders. And they also generate money through um, credit analytics. At the time of recording the video, Experian was trading at around about 24 pounds and 52 pence per share. Now, in the UK credit ratings agency game, there are three main players and Experian is one of them and it is in fact the largest and one of the most commonly used. It has partnerships with financial institutions and lenders such as Barclays, Lloyds TSB, Virgin Money and Capital One, just to name a few. It's also present internationally and is one of the key credit ratings agencies in the US as well. So not just strong in the UK, also strong internationally. From a dividend yield perspective, nothing too exciting, only about a 2% yield. But what I did like about their financials is that their net income percentage is around about 24%. For me as an investor, that means they're operating quite efficiently 
and it means that they're very likely to stay profitable if they're able to maintain such a high net income margin. Company number four is BAE Systems, which is present in the aerospace and defense sector and is trading at around about five pounds per share at the time of this video. BAE Systems obviously a very reputable player in its field. It has a very diversified business, not just in terms of geography, but also in terms of the sectors they operate in. From a geographical perspective, they're present in the UK, the US, Australia and Saudi Arabia as their main markets. And from a business sector perspective, I obviously mentioned aerospace and defense. They're also very heavily involved in intelligence and security systems as well. As a result, of course, they have some major customers, for example, the Australian Army, the UK Navy and various air forces around the world. And from a financial perspective, another nice dividend yield, this one around about 5% right now. And they also have nice stable revenue growth over the long term, which is always good to see and encouraging when looking at a company to invest in. And last but not least, we have Unilever in the consumer sector, which has in its portfolio brands such as Vaseline, Dove, Ben & Jerry's, Lipton's, PG Tips, amongst a whole range of others. And at the time of doing this video, it's trading at about 39 pounds and 12 pence per share. Given the brands that I just mentioned, it's reasonable to assume that there will be a fairly constant high demand for these brands as they're very high quality, household names and that's reflected in the stable revenues of Unilever which is around about 50 billion GBP per year. They also aim to operate a sustainable business and their operating goals such as carbon neutrality and zero deforestation are inspired by the United Nations development goals. And dividends, can't forget dividends of course, around about a 4% dividend yield right now which is also quite nice. So guys, my next video is going to be an in-depth analysis of one of these stocks. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see the follow-up, make sure you leave a comment with the company that you'd like to see me analyze below. Also, if you want to take a guess at which companies you think I've already added to the Euro stocks pie, then why not leave a comment as well with your guess? I'd be really interested to see what you guys think I've invested in. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the notification bell so you don't miss that follow-up video and the trading 2 on 2 update where I will of course reveal which companies I've decided to invest in. So the money gun has decided that it does not want to play ball today. So slightly different outro today. I'll see you on the next one and let's get this money.